The Russian army has built up a shock fist to attack the village of Borovea in the Kharkiv region, reports the analytical project Deep State. According to them, in the area from Regorodka to Novovodianoy, the Russian army has increased up to 10,000 personnel and about 450 weapons and military equipment, of which 200 artillery systems. The goal is probably an attempt to repeat last year's attack on Borovea. The Russians deployed the forces of the 20th Army in the form of 3 and 144 divisions, represented by the 236th Artillery Brigade and 11 regiments, 7 motorized rifle, 2 tank and 2 artillery. In addition, mercenaries from irregular army units were brought in. Among them, the presence of Storm V, Black Mamba, Fixies, and PMC Patriot is known. The BARS 14 unit arrived to maintain order, the message says. Analysts note that for the last three weeks the enemy has been carrying out preparatory measures in the form of probing weaknesses in the defense of the armed forces of Ukraine. There are continuous assaults on the positions of the 3rd Brigade. The enemy is losing personnel, but from 2 to 400 freshly mobilized Russians arrive weekly. This is enough for both replenishment and expansion of the group. So far, the tactics of meat assaults have not yielded significant results only due to the fact that there is a strong brigade at the site. But we emphasize that the forces are far from equal, added Deep State. According to their information, the enemy plans to repeat last year's strategy with access first to the Nadezhdanovoyegorovka line, and then to Pervomeskoichernishchina. Based on this situation, it is important not to repeat last year's mistakes, since the level of troop control among the Katsaps has increased somewhat. The presence of a significant number of mercenaries, who are mainly used for assault rather than defensive actions, is also worrisome, Deep State emphasized. Russian modern air defense systems are powerless against old Western missiles. Modern Russian air defense systems are not capable of resisting old Western missiles. The Ukrainian military uses this to strike strategic targets of the aggressor country in the occupied Crimea. According to the Telegraph, Western cruise missiles like the ATA CMS and Storm Shadow pose challenges due to stealth technology, making interception difficult for Russian defense systems. According to the journalists of the publication, the Russians adopted the S-400 air defense system in 2007. These complexes are among the most modern in Russia's arsenal and cost more than a billion dollars. However, recent attacks by the Ukrainian military have shown that these air defense systems remain vulnerable to older American missiles, including the ATA CMS, which have been in service with the US Army since 1986, and the British Storm Shadow, developed in the mid 1990s. People have been exaggerating the importance of Russian air defense for years. In fact, we have seen in the past that they have not protected the Syrians in Syria, they did not protect the Iranians in Iran, and now they did not protect the Russians in Crimea, emphasizes the Director of Military Sciences of the Royal Institute of the United Armed Forces, Matthew Saville. It is noted that Western cruise missiles are more difficult to intercept than Russian ones. According to Fabian Hoffman, PhD and missile technology specialist at the University of Oslo, Western missiles use stealth technology. In particular, the British Storm Shadow flies at a low altitude and its special shape makes it difficult to be detected by radars. As the missile nears the end of its flight, it rapidly gains altitude and then dives toward the target. There's a lot more planning involved in hitting with storm shadows. The Ukrainians really plan these trajectories. They carefully lay them out to bypass Russian air defense equipment. We also see that the Russian operators don't seem to be very skilled. Now they are very methodically and systematically bypassing these S-300 and S-400 air defense systems. And they know that it is reasonable. This is exactly what they should do. And NATO would do the same, emphasizes Hoffman. Russia, meanwhile, was forced to deploy its weapons more compactly, given the 1,000 km front line with Ukraine, as well as the need to protect Kaliningrad, the Kola Peninsula, the border with Finland and the eastern part of the country around Vladivostok. The Ukrainians are now striking in all directions. The Russians have significant stockpiles of various types of weapons, but now they have to make difficult decisions about the arrangement of priorities, emphasizes Saville.